In this exercise, we're going to practice datum selection. When you're selecting datums for your part design, you want to consider how that will that part will function within an assembly or how it will mate within an assembly. So I'm going to assign a different assembly than what I have up on my screen, but I'm going to use this corner bracket as an example of how I want you to go through this um, exercise. So when this part, this assembly comes together, the I'm going to take the fasteners away in this part here, but this bracket and the base are what would would uh first mate together. So we'll take that into consideration. So I'm going to quick hide this stuff here. So your first, you're going to have a primary, secondary, or tertiary datum when you're doing your design. Um, in this case, we're actually going to use all three, but you don't always have to have all three. Your primary datum should be selected as the mating feature. Your secondary should be the locating feature, and then your tertiary would be a aligning feature. So taking that, that concept into thought here, I'm going to do my mating feature for this, this bracket and this base part is going to be the bottom surface of the bracket. So there's my datum A. My datum B, my uh, um, locating feature, would be this hole here for my countersunk uh, or for my fastener that's going to screw into the base. So my datum B is going to be the hole for the fastener because that's going to locate it about the base. My tertiary datum is going to align the bracket to the base. So with just datum A and datum B, this bracket will just spin around. That's your um, sloth size location orientation form. So we don't need we don't need to consider form in this situation, but we got um, location and orientation to deal with. So my tertiary would be either this surface to this sur this datum and this datum um, datum feature. Or I could have it be a datum feature of size, so both of these surfaces, which would mean that the datum, the midplane of that feature of size would uh, align to the base here. So I'm going to open up my part here and start working with Dim Expert. Uh, the videos that I have posted or assigned on Solid Professor are of an older SolidWorks, so the there is a they're talking about right clicking on the tabs here and finding dim expert that's not here in 2000 the 2019 version what you're going to do is the mbd dimensions model based design or model based dimensioning um or to get to our dim expert or coming over to the tabs up here and clicking on dim expert manager uh, within those we have the auto dimensioning scheme so either up here or down here and then when we click on that we're going to kind of just ignore everything up here for now. Uh, we'll be getting into this in more detail, but for now I just want to focus on datum selection. So datum selection, we have a primary datum, which I said needs to be our mating, which would be this surface. Our secondary datum, which is going to be our locating datum, which would be this cylinder or this hole. And then our tertiary datum, could either be which will align the part which is going to be either this just this surface or if you wanted to do a feature of size up on this toolbar here we have create width feature so i have this select side selected already select the other side and now i've created a datum feature of size now i can either hit ch i can hit check and we'll be once again like i said we'll get into this a little deeper but um as we use this either auto dimensioning or manually dimensioning which we will do your part will turn green yellow or red yellow is underdefined uh, red is overdefined and if it's gray it just has not even been uh, touched upon yet and then green obviously is your part is fully defined so I have a date my data may here which currently has a uh, flatness tolerance on it or geometric tolerance my where's that one at here's my datum b which has a perpendicularity geometric tolerance to my datum a so it has to be perpendicular within point one and then 
my datum. Uh, let's see, where is that one at? There it is. There's my datum C, which has a position tolerance in relation to my datum A and B. So as you're making these parts for the assembly I assign you, what I want you to do is either to create a video using Studio and then upload that to me or contact me through Slack and we can do a Zoom and you can show me um, face to face how you selected your datums and then I will um, grade you accordingly.